Hi, I'm Monia. Welcome to your full beginner class. Today we will learn three new moves. First of them is underarm V hold. We'll place our hips on the front of the ball the same way as we used to for country kick. Place ball under your underarm, bring your elbow very close to your upper body, squeeze, make sure that the skin under your underarm is rolled. It's a little bit painful on the beginning, but you have to make sure that the grip is strong. Grab the ball, outside arm slightly higher, and from here, when you are beginner, you are trying to bend your knees first and open and hold. Go down. This is also very, very good conditioning exercise. It will make your core stronger, hip flexors stronger, and in general will prepare you to do your first invert. One more time, grab the ball under your underarm, squeeze, hold. If you're strong enough from the beginning, you can try to lift your legs straight up, but yes, it's quite difficult. Up and down. Your next move is a pole bridge. Pole bridge, usually we are getting into pole bridge position from side slide or where you are when you are performing your front or back hook on the spinning pole, you can land nicely in the bridge position. I will show you right now how I will perform spin, front hook spin, but on the static pole. Yes, it's also possible. Place your leg on the front, perform your front hook, which you know already from classes before. Land nicely on the floor, push your hips forward, triangle position, knees apart, feet together, slide with your arm, arch your back and perform beautiful bridge. Go up. Last move. Today we can combine after with everything together. We'll start on our knees. Place your knees on the floor and this move is a basic spin up. This move we are using usually when we are performing a floor work and we are trying to go back up to perform different transitions on the pole. I'm on my knees right now, right arm as high as you can, outside arm on the side to isolate your hips and your upper body away from the pole. My outside leg is straight and now you really have to engage your core. Make sure that you're, you're pointing your toes and that your quad muscles are very strong and tight. Create the momentum, kick straight leg around and lift your other leg up. One more time, this move, yes, requires practice. So please, you can use this spin as a conditioning exercise. 10, 10, if you need one more set, do one more set, 10 and 10. One more time, one arm up, other arm on the light of your belly button, outside leg, straight, remember, your outside leg is the one responsible for momentum. Kick, create the round momentum and land nicely on your tippy toes. Together, we are doing our front hook, land nicely, bridge, go back, knees together, straight leg, kick, pirouette, and your underarm hold. Perform the same routine on your right and on your left arm. Thank you and see you on your next full class.